sa pagkuha ng uh, values or exact values ng mga special angles or angles sa trigonometry, gumagamit tayo ng unit circle or ng calculator para makuha natin yung mga numerical values associated sa mga trig functions na hinahanap natin. Ngayon naman, meron tayong ibang techniques ng uh, pagkuha ng mga values ng mga trigonometric functions na hindi kailangan ng calculator. Ito yung paggamit ng formula ng sum and difference formula sa pagkuha ng mga trig um, or values ng mga trig functions sa isang equation ng uh, trigonometry. So, meron tayong anim na formulas na gagamitin ngayon. So, pagkuha ng sine, ng cosine, and, at ng tangent, kung ang uh, given angles na hanapin natin ay eh, wala sa unit circle. Now, itong una example natin, kailangan natin daw hanapin yung exact values ng uh, cosine 75 degrees. Now, kung uh, mapapansin nyo sa unit circle nyo, kung titingnan nyo yung unit circle, walang 75 degrees doon sa unit circle nyo kasi hindi siya considered as special angles na tulad ng mga 45, 30, or 60 degree angle na nakuha natin sa special right triangles. So, kung ang kukunin natin is cosine 75 degrees, ang isa sa mga options lang na pwede natin gawin ay eh, gumamit ng calculator or ng table of values para makuha yung cosine 75. Pero ngayon, gagamitin natin yung formula na pinakita ko dun sa previous slide para makuha natin yung exact numerical value ng cosine 75. At sa paghanap uh, ng exact values ng or value ng cosine 75, medyo may pag-iisip na kailangan tayong gawin kasi hindi siya step-by-step um, -step process. Kailangan kang mag-isip ng konti bago mo magamit yung formula. So yung step po natin is maghahanap tayo ngayon ng special angles na pwede nating i-add or i-subtract para makabuo tayo ng 75 degrees. Now, sa unit circle natin, maraming values dun sa unit circles, may 30, 45, 90, 120, uh, 360, and so on. So, mag, uh, lalaro ka lang ng mga numbers na nandoon, dapat nandoon mismo sa unit circle, na magiging equal dun sa hinahanap nating trig values. Nandito, cosine 75. Now, to give you an example, meron tayong dalawang combinations or Actually, there's, there could be more um, possible combinations na kung saan makakakuha tayo ng 75 degrees. Itong dalawang to, ito lang yung uh, dalawa sa mga pwedeng combinations para makakuha tayo ng 75 degrees by adding or subtracting special angles in a unit circle. So, for 75 degrees, pwede tayo mag-add ng 30 degrees and 45 degrees, which is equal to 75. At yung 30 and 45, syempre, nasa unit circle. So, hindi ka basta-basta kukuha lang ng... Uh, um, random number na mag equal to 75 kasi kailangan nandun pa rin siya sa unit circle. So, sa 75 degrees, hindi ka pwedeng gumamit ng uh, 50 degrees and 25 degrees kasi wala naman yung 50 degrees at saka 25 degrees sa unit circle. So, uh, medyo limited pa rin yung pagkuha natin ng values pero at the same time, makukuha rin natin yung exact values ng trig function without using a calculator. So, ito yung dalawang combinations na pinapakita ko. Pwede kayong 30 plus 45 or pwede rin namang 120 minus 45 degrees na kung saan itong mga ang angles na ginagamit ko ay nasa unit circle. So, sa step 2, magde-decide kayo ngayon kung ang gagamitin nyo is yung uh, formula for sum or formula for the difference of two angles in a trig function. So, dito ginamitan ko siya ng u minus v or yung subtraction method doon sa formula. At doon sa formula na pinakita ko doon sa anim na, anim na formula, yung uh, formula cosine u minus v will give us um, the combination of cosine u times cosine v plus sine u times sine v. So, mahalaga na ma-memorize nyo yung uh, formula, nung uh, sum and difference formula, para mas madali nyo mahanap yung uh, values or specific values na kailangan natin sa problem. So, substitution na lang ito, since cosine u minus v, yung gagamitin ko, itong combination na ito yung kailangan ko ma-produce. So, 120 degrees minus 45, u will be my 120 and v will be my 45. So 120 minus 45 we know is 75 degrees and using the formula so cosine 120 degrees times cosine v which is cosine 45 plus sine 120 degrees times sine 45. So substitution lang, direct sub substitution lang yung ginagawa natin base dun sa dalawang combinations natin. So hindi natin i-disregard yung uh, unit circle sa pagkuha nitong mga angles nito kahit hindi siya special. So kailangan pa rin natin yung unit circle and then sa unit circle, 
Kung titignan nyo yun, ang cosine 120 degrees is equal to negative 1 half. At yung cosine 45 degrees naman is square root of 2 over 2. So, substitute nyo lang or i-replace nyo yung mga special angle formulas nung sine and cosine dun sa unit circle para mabuo nyo yung expressions na to. So, we have negative 1 half times square root of 2 over 2 para dito sa formula na to. At dito naman sa kabilang side, meron tayong square root of 3 over 2 for sine 120 degrees and square root of 2 over 2 for sine 45 degrees. Now, by simplifying the expression, multiplying itong dalawang to, it will be equal to negative square root of 2 over 4. And when you multiply these two together, it will be square root of 6 all over 4. Now, to simplify the fraction, uh, since ayaw nyo ng mga fractions, pero mapapansin nyo na parehas lang ng denominator, so napaka simple ng pag-add ng fractions when you have the same denominator. So you just have to um, add the numerator, tapos kopyahin nyo yung denominator, and you'll have negative square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4. So ang value down ng cosine 75 degrees, using the formula that I just presented to you dun sa previous slide, will be negative square root of 2 plus square root of 6 all over 4. At nakuha natin ito without using a calculator. Ngayon naman, sa susunod kong example, um, kailangan naman natin hanapin yung exact value na sine pi over 12. Now, sa technique na ipapakita ko dito, since uh, different dun sa previous example, um, medyo komplikado kapag gumamit tayo ng fractions uh, even in a regular math problems. So what I'm gonna do is uh, change pi over 12, which is a radian measure, into a degree measure para mas madali yung paghanap ng angles or pag uh, um, isip ng dalawang combination of uh, special angles na mag equal sa pi over 12. So ang step 1 nyo is to convert pi over 12, which is 180 over 12, because sa trigonometry, ang pi is 180, it's not 3.14. So 180 degrees all over 12, which gives you 15 degrees. Uh, alam natin yung 15 degrees is not in the unit circle because it's not considered as a, a special angle. So gagamitin lin natin yung technique na ginamit natin sa previous example. So you need to think of two numbers in your unit circle na kapag inad nyo or sinubtract nyo will be equal to 15. So ito yung mga possible combinations na pwede nyo laruin. You can use 45 minus 30 degrees which is 15 degrees 135 degrees minus 120 degrees, which is also 15 degrees. At meron din tayo negative 30 plus 45 degrees, which is which will give you 15 degrees. So lahat ng combination na to, pwede nyo yung gamitin para makuha natin yung exact value ng sine pi over 12 na hindi considered a special angle. So in this combination, ang gagamitin ko yung combination number 1, 45 minus 30 degrees. So since hinahanap natin is sine value, gagamitin natin yung formula for sine u minus V, kasi yung first combination yung ginamit ko. So, paano naman kung ginamit ko is this one right here. So, since addition to, so ang gagamitin ko is sine U plus V, that requires us to um, use a different set of formula. So, for step number three, since napili ko na si first combination, which is 45 minus 30, to yung formula ng sine U minus V, and sine u times cosine v minus cosine u times sine v will be the formula that I'm going to use to find yung sine pi over 12. So, 45 degrees ko yung u ko at yung uh, 30 degrees naman yung v ko. So, sine 45 times cosine 30 degrees minus cosine 45 degrees times sine 30 degrees using the formula and then substitute the specific value of those special angles na makikita nyo sa unit circle, gaya ng ginamit natin doon sa previous example, and we'll have square root of 2 over 2 times square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 2 over 2 times 1 half. And to simplify this equation, you'll have square root of 6, 6 all over 4 minus square root of 2 all over 4 na kung saan yung denominator mo e parehas. So pwede mo siyang i-combine and simplify it into one fraction. So ang final answer mo for sine pi over 12 will be square root of 6 minus square root of 2 all over 4. At yun yung example number 2 natin. Now for example number 3, um, it's a, a different way on how to present a problem using the sum and difference formula dun sa trigonometry or dun sa formula na pinakita ko. Ngayon naman, kailangan daw nating hanapin yung exact value nitong trig function na to na merong ganitong formula. So we have sine 42 degrees, cosine 12 degrees, minus cosine 42 degrees, times sine 12 degrees. So mapapansin nyo, yung pattern na to, eh, 
nandoon dun sa mga formulas na pinakita ko. So, ang step one natin is to uh, look at the pattern and see which pattern dun na pwede nating uh, i-associate yung problem dun sa anim na formulas. So, obviously, since sine, cosine to, so sine, it's either sine u minus b or sine u plus b lang yung formula na tutugma dito sa question natin. So, since nakuha ko na yung pattern na sine u cosine b minus cosine u times sine v, yung formula na yan is equal to sine u minus v. So, ang nangyari ngayon, doon sa example number 1 and 2, nireverse natin yung uh, problem. So, ito yung panibagong way on how to present this type of problem. So, sine u minus v, ang u natin is 42 degrees at ang v natin will be 12 degrees. So, add nyo lang siya kasi ginagamitan na natin siya ng formula. Sine u minus v will give you sine 42 degrees minus 12 degrees which gives you sine 30 degrees. At alam natin na yung sine 30 degrees na nasa unit circle which is equal to 1 half. So, yun, ito naman yung bagong presentation ng uh, problem na pwede nyo ma-encounter using the sum and difference formula. Now, for our last example, medyo um, complicado or complex yung uh, problem na to kasi we're not just finding the actual value of your sine or cosine or tangent function. What we're going to do is to solve the trig equation using the sum and difference formula. So, ibang application naman ito nung mga formulas na pinakita ko dun sa previous um, slide. So, dito, ang uh, example number 5, we need to find all the solutions of sine x plus pi over 4 plus sine x minus pi over 4 equal to negative 1. So since solving trig equation itong problem na to sa interval na 0 and 2 pi, kailangan nating hanapin yung value ng x. So sa pag-solve ng x, hindi siya basta-basta pag-solve ng x like a linear equation or quadratic equation. We're dealing with um, a trig equation na pwedeng gamitan ng mga identities or uh, ibang formula associated dun sa trigonometry. So ang step one nyo is to uh, use the formula. Um, dun sa anim na formula na nakita nyo, kailangan nyo lang hanapin yung pattern ng bawat terms. So meron tayong dalawang terms dito, sine plus another sine. On the first term, we have sine x plus pi over 4. So, it's associated dun sa sine u plus v na formula na ginamit natin. So, itong uh, first term, gagamitan ko ng sine u plus v. At yung second term ko, gagamitan ko ng u minus v, which is equal to negative 1. So, nabago na ngayon yung equation ko from here, going to the second step. At dun sa second step, gagamitan ko na siya ng expansion ng formula dun sa uh, previous slide. So, sine u plus v is sine u cosine v plus cosine u times cosine v plus itong sine u minus v, apply nyo yung formula, equal to negative 1 and then combining like terms na lang yan. So, simplify nyo yung terms nyo after nyo gamitan ng formula at mapapansin nyo na itong dalawang to, dalawang term na to, pwede natin i-combine. Uh, since parehas sila, pwede mo siyang i-add and when you add them up, you'll have two of these. So, dalawa nito, kaya meron tayong 2 sin x cosine pi over 4. Now, ito naman, um, second term natin, cosine x sine pi over 4, cosine x sine pi over 4. Pag kinumbine nyo siya, magka-cancel lang yan kasi isa positive, isa negative. So, it's 1 minus 1, similar to that one, to that effect. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. So, we end up with 2 sine x cosine pi over 4 equal to negative 1. So, medyo lumiit na yung ating uh, equation from a complex equation by combining like terms, now we have a more um, um, simplified version nitong equation natin. So now we have 2 sine x cosine pi over 4 equal to negative 1. Ang gagawin na lang natin dito, since alam natin ang cosine pi over 4 is equal to square root of 2 over 2, change natin siya, square root of 2 over 2, and then we need to solve for x. So to do that, um, the first step would be to cancel 2 and 2 right here kasi um, pwede mo siyang ma-cancel uh, by the multiplicative property. So we have sine x times square root of 2 equals negative 1. Now to get rid of square root of 2 kasi kailangan natin x by itself, divide both sides by square root of 2. 
So we'll have sine x is equal to negative 1 over square root of 2. Now ngayon, alam natin na yung sine x natin, hahanapan natin siya ng value na kung saan nagpa-fall siya sa negative 1 over square root of 2, which is not in the unit circle kasi you need to rationalize 1 over square root of 2. And to rationalize 1 over square root of 2, it will turn into square root of 2 all over 2. So now we have sine x equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. Using the unit circle, hanapin nyo lahat ng values ng sine mula dun sa one revolution ng uh, um, unit circle na equal to square, negative square root of 2 over 2. At yun, ang mga values na yun will be 5 uh, pi over 4 at saka 7 pi over 4. And this is how we use um, the same formulas na ginamit natin dun sa first four examples. At dito naman, nagsusolve naman tayo ng trig equation.